Hi everyone, it's Emmy D from the uh, Suburban Home and Sleepionics over here. And today I want to share with you the Master Bedroom Spring Refresh. I did share a little um, trailer, if you want to call it, of our Master Bedroom a couple of weeks ago. And I just wanted to get more into detail on how we transform the room into um, from winter to spring. If you're new to this channel, we purchased a modern day Victorian style farmhouse a little over a year ago. And I say modern day because this house was actually built in 2006. We live in this little community a few minutes outside the city in a little country setting. And we just love where we live. Um, one of the main selling features or buying features of this home was the fact that the master bedroom is on the main level so we can grow old in this house. So before we get into it, if you're new to this channel, please hit the like button. It's a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. You could tell by this picture that the room was pretty much functional and move-in ready when we took possession. We moved in our furniture, added a few decorative elements, and called it done. This was the room when we came to visit the house when it was for sale. I knew that our bed, because it was a king-size bed, would not work under those windows, and I wanted the focal point to be that far back wall. Many of you have asked about our bed. Our bed is from Structube, it's called the Versailles, and it's very French inspired. It's in midnight navy. It's a tufted upholstered headboard. To say the bed is stately is an understatement. There's no other way to describe the Versailles bed. Your eye travels to its soaring fabric headboard, but next you notice the finer things from the diamond button tufting to the antique nail heads in double row. All right, let's talk about the linens. For spring, I added a light white quilt for those warmer evenings. I then topped the quilt with a duvet. I love that the linen duvet cover has a contrasting color and a beige tone. It's a versatile cover that can work with any season. To add fullness to the bed, my tip is to fold the duvet in three parts. This will make your bed look fluffy and inviting, minus a cat or two. Besides the linens, we gave the room a fresh coat of paint. In this room, we used Benjamin Moore Regal in Ultra Matte Cloud White. It's a beautiful, fresh spring color. Because our bed is king size, I always have three Euro pillow shams on the bed. We also have our regular sleeping pillows. And recently I found this grain sack at the local vintage and an antique show from a vendor and I stuffed it with a body pillow. I just love grain sacks and anything that is reminiscent of simpler times. I love the imperfections in the fabric. It's part of its charm. I added a fun, very country inspired blue floral pill in stick wallpaper. It added so much charm and personality to the room. I also painted the main bedroom door in antique Wedgwood. It adds so much interest. It was also lightly distressed and I made it slightly aged by giving it some glazing and antique wax. We also changed out the builder grade saucer-like light fixture that was, in my opinion, a dust collector. We opted for a French-inspired crystal chandelier. As for additional furniture in this space, the antique armoire cabinet was a hand-me-down from my godmother. This armoire houses our quilt collection and extra linens. We do not have a dresser in our room because we have a walk-in closet and this works for us just fine. We also have a chair in our room 
and its main purpose, if we're honest here, is to hold folded laundry. But when the weather permits, I like to sit, open the window, enjoy a cup of tea or a glass of wine while reading or planning my summer gardens. I also get to enjoy the sound of birds chirping away as the window is flanked by outdoor shrubs, trees, and soon to be a new perennial bed. The cats also love that chair. We also have this bench at the foot of the bed. This bench was built by a local carpenter and he used repurposed barn wood. The bench serves decorative purposes, but it's great in our dining room when we have additional guests, we just bring it out and we have extra seating. The night tables are probably something that we're going to change eventually, um, just to get something that's a little bit more in scale with the rest of the furniture. To round up the spring updates, I added some of my indoor plants for some fresh natural elements. The greenery is very conducive to greener outdoor days to come. Plants are also great, a great addition to your bedroom. They purify the air and we all need fresh air after a long Canadian winter. So you'll notice that nothing excessive was done to freshen up the room. Although the room is now cozy in a functional space, I still have a few things on my wish list, namely those faux wood blinds. I would love to switch them out for bamboo shades eventually just to warm up that wall. I'm also a big fan of drapes in a bedroom. And you'll notice that we don't have drapes in our room because of the beautiful molding around the windows. I would love to know in the comments below if you think I should add drapes or just leave the woodwork as is and showcase it. We love how our bedroom turned out and it's the perfect space to recharge after a long day. If you're new to my channel and you want to follow along our farmhouse living journey, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Thanks for joining me as I turn our modern day Victorian style farmhouse into our forever home. See you soon and thanks for watching. A bientôt!